And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hecarim Diana. This deck is going to be a little weird. What we have going on here is we have um, a deck with Hecarim and Diana as our champions, of course. This is a list, as I've talked about just today, what we're doing is we're doing a thing like where we find some lists on the leaderboard from other people. You can click inspect and just kind of see other people's deck lists around you. Uh, I did this before we dropped off <laughs> last night and then the, uh, early today. Uh, but anyway, what we have with this list, so this was a list just from somebody, and I'm sorry I didn't write down who was playing this deck. But it looks kind of crazy and wanted to, to try it out. So we have um, Shark Chariot to go along with our Hecarim, and we have like Sapling Toss to help bring back Shark Chariot. So we have a little bit of Ephemeral stuff, but then we're also going to have a lot of Invoke. We have two Lunari Priestess, three Solari Priestess, so we're going to have a decent amount of Invoke in here also to help play a later game. Um, we have some Nightfall cards, I guess. You know, Unspeakable Horror, Pale Cascade to go along with Diana. The Lunari Duskbringers in here. Um, we'll create some Dusk Petal Dusk. I'm not sure how much we'll really be using that. Um, and then, yeah, then there's just Hecarim at the top end. So this deck has a little bit of everything in it. One Harrowing for a finisher of Ruination to help you catch up. Rekindler to bring back Hecarim. Got a little bit of everything in here. There is even a Passage Unearned, a card that I've never, ever played and constructed before. The main reason to play this card would be for uh, decks with Feel the Rush. There we go. So I, we haven't really been playing against very much Feel the Rush recently, but maybe you know maybe we play against Feel the Rush a couple of times and we get this Passage Under Earned and uh, everything. But I want to play the exact list that they had and we're just going to try it out and see how it goes. So we'll play five games over in Ranked with Hecarim Diana. And here we go. All right, playing against Frostbite. Midrange Frostbite is an awesome deck, as you hear me say every single time we play against Midrange Frostbite. We do not need Passage Unearned in this matchup. That card can go. And I guess I'll just keep this Ruination. That card should be pretty decent. We're gonna go with the Lunari Duskbringer and the Unspeakable Horror. You leave me no recourse. And I'm just gonna be trading with their Omen Hawk, it's fine. Remember me. Huh. This is a tough choice. These are like the three best options, probably, with Solari Priestess. It's a tough choice which one to go with. I guess we'll go Falling Comet. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not sure, though. I can see a good reason to choose any of those. Hey, Kitty Dexterity! Thank you so much for the cheers! Thanks for the bits, I appreciate that. Clad in shining sunlight. Unseen on the hand. For truth. Many tribes under one banner. I will unite the Freljord. We have five cards left. Definitely considering, hey, Kinkles, three month streak, keeping that sub going. Thank you, Kinkles. Definitely considering casting Ruination. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, exactly. We want to play it before Assessor. Took 
activate. Break the ranks. All right, so that's two out of seven. Over there. For this Hecarim. Ready the torches. All right, so the Hecarim took out two cards from their hand and dealt two damage to their Avaroz and Trapper. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. So not bad. I like seeing that card. We will resist. That Diana. Temperamental as moonlight. I do not like seeing that card. <laughs> Passage Unearned. I can't think of any way that Passage Unearned does anything in this game. Nope, I can't can't think of any anything it possibly does. Alright, GG's. Yeah, I guess they could randomly have Field of Rush, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Hecarim Mirror. That's one with Lucian. Yeah, one. Yeah, Field of Rush in. Uh, playing a Field of Rush in, in that deck is not that's not absurd that's not out of the question you could definitely play a field of rush in mid-range frostbite get your sejuani um and ash yeah that's not that's not absurd at all there's a chill in the air Alright, so we'll have Solari Priestess this turn, and then we'll go Sapling Toss as well. So we can have our Sapling Toss come come over and challenge the Lucian. We'll have this to try to obliterate Hecarim. Uh, no, I don't really know a deck that one of Field of Rush wouldn't work well, to be honest. It probably would, like, if you're playing two champions, it probably would work well. You're Frel Yord. Passage under would be good against these curse keepers. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. I fight for the fallen. Banish the unworthy. Just lead with ruination next turn. If they play Hecarim, that's not great for me. Um, yeah, I would not I would not replace all of the Dravens for Katarina, but if you want to if you want to play one Katarina over a Draven, you can do that. You can play one Katarina in Taric Draven, but you should not take out uh, you should not take out all three Dravens for three Katarinas. Please don't have Hecarim. Virtue guides me. That's fine. I think only attacks for four. Hmm. Clad in shining sunlight. 
light. So I can go to Strike for justice. No, I don't go to one, never mind. Lucian levels up. Room for doubt. Yeah, where's that passage under and I mulligan? Why'd I why'd I mulligan that card? Yep, yep, that passage under would have been really good. I I really punished for mulliganing that. We were peaceful once. Yeah, I just I just didn't Yeah, I, I knew Hecarim was basically Hecarim was what I thought of whenever I saw the the passage under and I thought I could probably just mulligan that. I didn't really think of escaped abomination or harrowing or things like that. Like I just I didn't really know what Necessarily to, to expect with that card, but yes, I if I play that matchup again, I will keep that card in that matchup. I didn't I didn't realize how good it would be. That's what I'm getting to. I didn't I didn't realize it was going to be very effective. So my plan was to play Shark Chariot. I guess I'm still going to go with that. We will resist. I'll go with the Solari Priestess. Let's go with the Traveler. I'll play that next turn. They are in a really insult deck, so maybe I'll regret not taking the, the thing that just obliterates, but I do have a Vengeance. Let's see what this can do for me. I'd rather have the thing that obliterates over any of these. I guess I would take Golden Sister. Our sun will not set today. Trust your heart. Gaze into the light. Okay, we'll have those trade. Or not. Okay, so I should basically just be keeping passive under and against all the Shadow Isles decks. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Blighted Caretaker as well. That's another really good one for passage passage under. I'm glad we kept the Unspeakable Horror. That was a good keep. No, we didn't just play it last turn. All right, so Golden Sister worked out pretty well. Um, I may want to written in stars though instead of this other Golden Sister. Daylight warms the we have Rekindler and, and like Harrowing. Probably need a champion. My faith protects me. Yeah, I guess Thresh and Callista passage under and gets rid of the thing they bring into play. I'm basically thinking that my opponent's going to be playing a really insult this turn. What is this? Clearing up the board is good for me as far as harrowing goes. Also good for me for like with Rekindler having Hecarim die. 
Um, but I'm probably gonna be playing Vengeance plus Unspeakable Horror for really in Soul. Your favorite star. I created it. He's magnificent. Something's wrong. Okay, we took down Aurelian Soul. That's pretty nice. There's a spell shield. We burn, then kindle anew. Straight to attacks. Let's bring all those things around also. I hope they don't have a fight spell that kills my Hecarim. No, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess I could have harrowing, but I just didn't want them to really play other things. Also, I'll find something to get rid of this spell shield. How bothersome! All right, so they're just gonna take this. All right, I go down to negative one. That'll do. No fight spell to take down Hecarim. All right, so this is the deck that we're going to be playing up next, Twisted Elise. So we're playing against it now. We'll see how we do playing against it. It's a pretty decent hand. We'll just keep all this. We can see mulliganing the Shark Chariot. It may not be a necessity. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Hey, thanks, Treb. Uh, Trebsy. Let me go, with Treb. Thank you, Treb. Um, Treb says, "Love your videos. I love that you're a well-spoken and respectful person. Never change, mate." Well, thanks for the kind words, Zalvarik. Where do you stand on cold shots? No more hiding. Where are you going? All right, so we'll trade ones there. Get a couple of damage on him. Alright, so this card right here is. I've whipped up something special. Um, this is the card that is uh, ephemeral. Sunlight Get another Traveler. My brethren. Okay, so it was a go hard. That worked pretty well for them. I'll buy some time. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. We play in build rules, son. We'll give Diana. Devotion to battle. I will be heard. Okay, good. All right, so they got another fleeting card. That is the fleeting card right there. It was a salvage. I am more myself 
than ever. You have found your own way in the darkness. So I want to play Sapling Toss, but if I play Sapling Toss, then I can't have Golden Sister with Pale Cascade next turn. I don't know. Maybe I guess I just don't play Golden Sister next turn. And just keep the Pale Cascades. Gosh, now we have Hecarim. What once was two, now is one. All right, I'm playing Golden Sister. We'll have Hecarim for the... Because right now I have the Sapling to bring back the Shark. And then we'll have Hecarim the next turn. Um, and then we'll have, like, these Pill Cascades to protect Hecarim. I'm always up for a round or two. Mm. Who says I don't Should I Pill Cascade? Punish transgressions. Say your farewells. Wait a minute. Only played one Nightfall card. So I'll have to wait till next turn to play Hecarim, but hopefully I can have like Hecarim and Bastion next turn. Um, I just have to save two mana. The Silver Sister is the only Celestial card that I have currently, but I can grab another Celestial card with Solari Priestess to make it a little easier. I'll just keep, I'll just have new Diana instead. Is smiling. Give us some room. Defiance is our way. Let me play in the cosmic inspiration next turn. this thing at five I basically I'm not sure if I should be protecting if I should protect that or if I should play Diana and have Diana kill Twisted Fate with Twisted Fate already at five um Hecarim of course brings a shark and two spectral riders attacking Time Yeah, we have Rekindler that can bring back Hecarim. I feel like I need to try to kill this Twisted Fate. Um, yeah, Trebsy, I I'm sorry. I have uh, I have really delayed putting together any like a deck building guy and stuff. I I really should get on that. I need to take like a day off or something for to be able to do that. Okay, I'm really glad that we we played it like this and killed the Twisted Fate because they were gonna you know draw a couple of cards. I know what lurks in the shadows. Oh, why did I not attack with the Silver Sister? Oh, right, because they have Zap Spray Fin. That's right. Okay, never mind. Ooh, I panicked there for a second. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna have a pack your bags. I mean, that's it'd be great if they don't, but never lost a fair game. Don't have much. Soak it in. Hope for that. Wanted to make sure that they couldn't just kill this, um, this thing 
first, so I want to be able to put another Celestial in my hand, so that we're definitely going to be hold a Celestial because of the one in the hand. Yep, and there's back your bags. Great, spray thin. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Now we still have a blocker. You leave me no recourse. A tribute to the spider god. I will be free. So I can only do one thing, either Golden Sister or Rekindler. The light of my star warms the heavens. I guess it has to be Golden Sister. GG's. Alright, two and two. All right, another Hecarim deck. We've been playing against a bunch of Hecarim today. Even if our opponents haven't really been casting Hecarims, but you know we've been playing against a bunch of Hecarim Lucian, Hecarim Misfortune now. And we're playing um, Hecarim with Diana. Speaking of that, I like this hand. We will uh, try this. and fear the heretics. Devotion to battle. Airplane charge area. Maybe I should not have played the Solari Soldier on turn one and just held it to turn three, held it to like this turn to be able to play Solari Soldier first and then Diana. I was envisioning us drawing something else cheaper to play, but we didn't really. I guess I pass. They should be passing too, because they should be scared of Diana. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. A new moon rises. Punish transgressions. I think we're in a racing scenario. Guide us. Yeah, Legion Saboteur. I'll be damned. Bless is Mosha. The hunter. The guilty were bad. Always forward. Okay, so I have a pill cascade to go with, along with Diana with attacking, which I think should be a safe attack. Yeah, I think this is a safe attack. Ooh. That's gonna bring back the shark. favors the bow. The ocean is no place for the weak. That's a good ruination draw. Just don't have to worry about all this stuff. We'll try to obliterate the lot of it. And then we'll have Hecarim next turn. Won't, we'll have seven mana, so I won't have any spell that I can play with Hecarim. Or I go Solari Priestess Diana Pale Cascade. 
It's a better defensive play is playing Diana this turn to kill Stirred Spirits. And we also have multiple blockers. This is the better defensive play. Bask in her radiant blessing. By the moon's crescent blade. Yeah, what is that, Cabo? I will be heard. I thought for a second they missed. The ocean charts our course. The light of my star warms the heavens. All right, Golden Sister, I need you to do some blocking for me. It's a really nice hit hitting Av Isla Navigator with. You know, with the ephemeral, with the stalking shadow, because you know that brings back the, you know, island navigator has scout, and it brings the shark, attacking, right then. So that's pretty nice. You are beneath me. You can block the shark during the next attack. It's fine. Unexpected. Proud warriors of the sun's true light. Yeah, now they got stirred spirits on that thing. We have no call. Moonlight guide me. All right, so we'll be at seven still. They'll have everything dead. I'll be able to play Hecarim with Bastion available. Can't play the Solari Soldier in that case. Guide us. I cannot turn back. We're at zero still. Okay, so if the 2 4 blocks the 5 5, the 2 1 blocks the 2 2, they take exactly 8 damage. So it's lethal. I was debating of whether or not Onslaught of Shadows would be a good thing to play or, you know, like something else, but. Alright. GG's. Three and two for Hecarim Diana. Light across the land. Yeah, that's a pretty cool, cool little deck that my opponent was playing there, getting some rally stuff and some scouts to go along with, you know, extra attacks to go along with Shark Chariot Ephemerals. That's that's a pretty cool uh, combination. I liked that. Uh, but yeah, my, my biggest regret was, of course, whenever we played against the Harrowing deck and I mulliganed a Passage Under and from my opener. That was my biggest regret with these games. Um, but besides that, the deck played pretty well. You know, we had a bunch of low cost things. Like I like Sapling Toss quite a bit. The Twisted Fake red card on my Sapling Toss was devastating, and then the red card made you know gave them really good blocks. That Twisted Fate turn they had that was the turn that won them that game. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's uh, Hecarim Diana to play a unique one here, and it did pretty well. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching some Hecarim Diana, and I'll see you for the next video.